What was it like to get hit in the face with a folding metal chair from The Rock? <laughs> How would you describe that? Yeah. Uh, and again, I do not even for an instant tell people to try this at home because <laughs> uh, it, it is it. There's a lot of timing involved, and there's a there's a lot of things that have to happen so that you don't get your nose broke and you don't mm -hmm. get your face busted open. And for me, I knew that I was able to do this because of my experience in fighting. I knew how to tuck my chin. I knew how to roll with a punch. And so when I asked Rock to hit me in the face with the chair, and he looked at me like he was like bewildered and like, what? I said, hit me in the face. Because they wanted to, like normally how they do it, they hit you in the top of the head or the back of the head. And I'm like, you ain't doing that to me. You're going to hit me in the face and swing from my face because I will take care of the rest. You just do that. And I remember looking at me saying I was crazy. And I said, you better swing it because I won't sell it. And he looked at me and said, oh, I'll swing it. <laughs> <laughs> so so as I'm we, he getting ready to swing and I'm sitting there and I'm like, you better swing it. And he looked at me, oh, it's coming. <laughs> and he hits me with it. Well, the reason why that works, and again, this is stunts. It's, it's all about learning how to roll and take things. As he swung it, just like I would in a fight, and someone's aiming for my nose or my chin, I tuck my, ch my, my hands come up, my chin goes down. Obviously, I didn't put my hands up, but same kind of principle was I tuck my chin. And the reason why I did that was because it went from my nose, my face, to my forehead, which is the hardest bone in my head. So when he hit it, the only scary part about that whole thing and the only thing that ever even scared me or hurt me was the sound. It <laughs> sounded like a shotgun. <laughs> you can imagine what it sounded like to the fans that heard it that just went pow and they were like, oh, you killed him to what it sounded like to me with my ears right next to it. It was loud. And I think that startled me more than anything. But I didn't really feel a thing when he mm. landed it. And that's why I say when I t when people tell people this, it's not like you can just go do it because there's a lot that goes into something like this. Because if you don't do it right, you can end up in the hospital in a coma. <laughs> I mean, what was the conversation like afterwards? After that... Uh yeah, yeah, The Rock was like, brother. Shot. I mean, yeah, you guys dude. in the locker room, do you have He's like, you all right, it? man? Everything good? It's like, nah, man, it was great. He's all like, man, you, you're, you're, you're a crazy MF. <laughs> I was like, well, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Well, the, the UFC and WWE merger happened under the TKO umbrella. And The Rock is actually on the board of the TKO. Yeah. And uh, you said, uh, I think The Rock is an incredible human being. If anybody during that time that I had worked with or had been around at that time, he was a class act. So he's a great person to be in that position to be able to do what he's doing in both areas. Yeah, I stand by that. Um, you know, uh, it seems like as time has gone on a little bit because of some of the things that, that happens in the movie industry, he's starting to take kind of some heat for some things that have happened. But again, as we know, there's two sides to a story, and sometimes one side of the story is trying to uh, discredit somebody, and the other side of that story is trying to stay credible. And from what I know of The Rock and everything that I have dealt with, he is a class act, and he is he's one of those kind of guys that you don't got to know what he's thinking because he's going to tell you. And sometimes it may not be something you want to hear, but you need to hear. And I just believe that's who he is, and I believe if he doesn't believe in it, something, he'll tell you. If he does believe in it, he'll tell you. And sometimes to his detriment, you know, he comes out and, and makes stance on certain things, or even political issues. I think, you know, sometimes like, hey, that's who he is. Um, take it or leave it. And he got kind of hammered a little bit for taking a stand on what he believed. And even though I don't agree with some of the same things he does, but I, I as a human being, he is a uh, he's somebody I would I put my life on. I just think he's that kind of a person. I mean, yeah, people have been talking about him running for president for a while. He's always <laughs> said that he's not interested at this time. He has other commitments. But if The Rock ran for president in either party, I think it'd be a shoe in but, I think it'd be pretty but, hard to compete against The Rock. But why? I mean, when you look at the that role as a president, The Rock has nothing there to offer him personally to offer in that position other than being discredited. He, what is he going to do? Like you're literally doing something like an Arnold Schwarzenegger, putting someone in there that really doesn't have answers for what the world is. What's he going to do? Like, where is his professionalism in that? You're basically taking, and I, and again, just like with the Arnold Schwarzenegger is, is, is why? 
these people are not, you'd have to have people around you to be able to tell you what to do. Well, I mean, you can say that about Trump. Well, Trump's a little bit different because he's built businesses. That's a whole different ball game because I mean, now you're knowledgeable. look at how many businesses The Rock has under his belt. Yeah, but The Rock has other people involved, and The Rock, in a sense, is is it has so much in his in his thing on acting and professional wrestling and all the things that he's doing. What's the advantage? Like, what's the if someone came to me and said, "Hey, you know, um, we want you to, you know, be the governor of some man," I would walk away from that. There's no upside that for me. That's what I'm saying with him. Where's the upside? <laughs> I mean, the most powerful job on the planet, that would be somewhat of an upside. Uh, the legacy to yeah, his family. If, 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 if you think that that's something good for your family, because you know what's going to happen. There's going to be 50% of you are going to love you and 50 are going to hate you yeah. because of that stance. Where, where The Rock is at, everybody, yeah, everybody loves, loves him. Everybody loves The Rock, yeah. That's you true. don't do something like that, brother. You have just cut that thing in half.